insulation would you recommend for someone building a barn dominium with your buildings? Some of it's going to depend upon where you are in the sure. United States because the, the International Energy Code has nine climate zones in it. Yep. So if you're in the deep south, climate zones one, two, and three, normally in doing a closed cell spray foam uh, of a couple inches to your entire building shell is your starting point. Sure. Um, you know, and if you're going to have a flat ceiling? But even there, you're going to condition the ceiling in most okay. cases. And you see a lot of, of your HVAC in the south being in the attic spaces sure. because of that. Okay. Um, as you get farther north, um, some of that's going to change. You're going to, for the most part, end up with attic spaces where you have mm -hmm. a, a dead attic that needs to be ventilated, and you're going to be insulating in the plane of the attic. Yep. Now, in those cases for walls, I think probably your best option is to, again, do the two inches of closed cell spray foam applied directly to your siding, whether you're using steel siding or mm -hmm. if it's OSB, uh, hardy board, whatever. This will serve as, as a, a uh, vapor barrier because it's not going to let any moisture go out. And then you can do bad insulation inside that. I, I, I happen to be leaning towards rock wool now as, as okay. because rock wool is not affected by moisture. Mm -hmm. And then allowing that wall to dry to the inside. For attics, um, if you're going to insulate in the plane of, of the, the truss, the bottom mm -hmm. board, your most efficient is to blow in insulation mm -hmm. above that. Now, you don't need to use as much insulation to meet code if you have trusses that are designed with what's called an energy heel, where they have depth at the outside of the wall so that you can run that insulation full thickness right. from wall to wall. Um, but personally, I, my approach to this is I, I want the, the high end of insulation for thickness yeah. and, and run it wall to wall anyhow. Over three quarters of your heat loss is up through your roof. Well, and if you're already blowing insulation in a ceiling, it really is not that much more expensive yeah. to blow it six inches deeper. Yeah, your, your cost is that they had to come yeah. out and do right. it in the beginning. Right. So you, you might as well go for the gusto in that point. Uh, for, for that ceiling, normally I'm going to go towards fiberglass there. You could use cellulose. Uh, cellulose is heavier uh, quite sure. a bit. It's, it's really? probably about five times the weight wow. of what you're going to have okay. from fiberglass, which is really a consideration if you're going to do like a steel liner for sure. a shop space mm -hmm. because most of those trusses are only designed right. for a three to five pound bottom cord sure. load. And, and you could exceed that. That the cellulose alone can sure. push you over the top of okay. it.